right, we're going to be doing a cold start on this. Uh, I believe it's a 1988 um, Chevy two-ton dump, something like that. I'll tell you in a second. It is got a wet seat. Yeah, 1988 Chevy two-ton dump. Uh, don't know why they call it white, but they call it white. Let's pop the hood. Doki. All right. It is a big block in there. Somewhere down there, there's a big block. And this thing runs really good. Let's fire it up for you. Let's walk around first. This has a uh, vacuum braked trailer. The brakes on this thing are incredible. And it's a tilt bed trailer. Not quite sure of the uh, capacity. Tires are in okay shape. Wheels are in real nice shape. It's got the, uh, well here, take a look. There's a tilt bed right here. And that tilts back. Let's take a look up inside here. Got plenty of meat on the tires of the truck. Get a big gas tank. All right, let's fire it up. Well, I had a little bit of rain. Not good to have the window open. Let's see here. I wonder if it'll. choke. I don't know if it's got a choke or not. It's only got 74,187 miles. It's a split rear end or a 10 speed. Then you got your dump stuff back there. Stock number 1353, a 1988 Chevy two-ton dump with a trailer. By the way, check out those mirrors. Good view out of the mirrors. Plus a nice view of a corn, or sorry, soybean field. Well, we're going to take this thing for a test drive. Um, let me fire it up. It's got a big block in it, and it's got a two-speed, I don't know if you can read that or not, two-speed axle I'm just gonna go in the I'm gonna stay in high mode because I'm just driving on the road um, and we don't have a heavy load behind us it is a trailer but this is a good strong truck so we're gonna go in uh, first gear and then up and, and uh, I will show you that this works everything works fine in this thing all right here we go first gear Oh, by the way, I need to show you this. This is wonderful. It's a vacuum. This is why it's staying with it. The uh, brakes on the trailer are vacuum actuated brakes, just like the brakes in your car. And there's a lever here where you can pull more brake for the trailer if you want, or it'll automatically, kind of like a brake controller in your electric brake controller in your pickup truck or something. That's how that works. So now we're gonna take off and we are pulling this equipment trailer along with us. Here we go. And again, I'm just running in high range. Funny noises, we're in fourth gear, going to fifth. It just kind of cruises right along, now we need to back off here. I don't even know where I'm going. Pulling the big rig. <laughs> I'll be able to turn around somewhere, I guess. Well, here we go, though. We're 
It's a well-maintained machine uh, that'll haul a lot, two tons of stuff in the bed, and it's dumped, and uh, it does drive pretty good. It is a truck, so <laughs> horn works, uh, wipers work, everything works. It's got a, well, the safety sticker actually just expired this month. So we're in fifth gear, going 55. Cruising down the road nice. Look at the gauges. Uh, oil pressure is real good. The uh, bolts are good. Temperature is cool. It doesn't run real hot much at all. 74,875 miles. And we're heading back to the shop. You know what? Let me go in reverse. Works beautiful. It's got a reverse alarm, and uh, we'll look at the, peak, the the other thing. All right, let's see here. That's low. Yep, definitely works. That's cool. I'm going to. Nice running truck.